Hey guys, this is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a topic video on five Marvel characters who should have their own Marvel show, um, or own Marvel Netflix show. Should have wrote that. Um, but five Marvel characters that should have their own Marvel Netflix show. And the person who recommended this was Mega Webba. Uh, so if you want to go check out their channel in the description below, there's a link. And if you guys have any recommendations for future topic videos, please tell me in the comments below. If I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks, they'll either be on Comic Uno or Comic Frontline. For Comic Frontline, I have them every Sunday. And for Comic Uno, I have them every Friday with my comic book reviews. So be sure to recommend away in the comments. But let's get started. In no particular order, I'm going to name characters I think should get their own Netflix show that are part of Marvel. Uh, so first I think is She-Hulk. I think she matches a lot of the characters that are already getting Netflix show. Just to remind you, characters that are getting their own Netflix show is Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Daredevil, and then they're all going to combine and make the Defenders. She-Hulk could so fit in that pattern. Uh, she's teamed up with these characters in the past, and I think she's a really interesting character in general just to have her own TV show. I think she deserves her own movie at the same time, too, but I would like to see their, them flesh out the lawyerness of her um, in a TV show. I think the the lawyer procedural combined with being a superhero, um, and also I hope they would transform into Jen and S.H.I.E.L.D., because I think that is something they really don't do enough in the comic books, is balance Jen's life and S.H.I.E.L.D.'s life, to kind of just mesh it together. Uh, but yeah, in a show, I think that, you know, there's just a lot of genres going on with S.H.I.E.L.D. that I think a lot of people would be interested in, and I think Netflix would be interested in. Um, next is The Runaways. Uh, Runaways is just, I think, something that should have had either a TV show or movie a long time ago, and they were planning it. And it's a story that's so much in the format of a TV show, um, just the way the story arcs are very long and not really like five issue story arcs. They're, especially the first volume, is a very long story arc um, with interesting, diverse characters. So uh, I think Runaways definitely should be a TV show that fits in the Netflix groove already. Probably not the Defenders groove as, as much as She-Hulk, but I think it would have its own... Um, entity on Netflix. But I do think, I still think Runaway should have its own movie, but if not, if it had to be a TV show, I say Netflix. Uh, next is Young Avengers. Young Avengers needs to have a show anywhere. I think Young Avengers probably would be, would be a better tie-in show to, uh, like, kind of like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to the cinematic universe, um, more than having its own movie. Uh, who doesn't want to see Kate Bishop and Patriot and Wiccan and Hulking? Come on! And Stature? Uh, these characters could totally connect to, um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe already, um, but I hope they do keep a lot of who these characters already are, um, and somehow still connected to the cinematic universe. So Young Avengers, uh, I think, would be perfect, especially with the Ant-Man movie, um, you know, Hawkeye already being prominent. Uh, I would really like to see that. Um, next, I think this is a really interesting one, um, Elektra. Uh, you know, Elektra totally failed as a movie. The screenplay was not good. Uh, but we could say the same thing for Daredevil. I, I don't hate Daredevil the movie as much as other people, but it did fail in a, a lot of ways. And now it might be a hit Netflix show. And I think Elektra definitely could be in that vein. Maybe a spinoff show for Daredevil. I know some people might have bad taste in their mouth from the movie, but I think Elektra is a badass character. Uh, an assassin who could really work well um, in a TV format, um, in, in Netflix format, um, that you could binge. And I think uh, a, a prominent um, example of that is the the current Elektra series, and I hope they, they would stay in the same vein as that. So Elektra, give her another chance with a Netflix show like you did for Daredevil. Um, last but not least is Miss Marvel, and I'm talking about uh, Camilla Miss Marvel, not um, Captain Marvel because she already has her own movie coming out. But this could totally relate to the inhuman stuff they're trying to do, and um, of course just related to Captain Marvel, someone who's a huge fan, and Netflix, hello, we all love binging stuff and nerding out on stuff with Netflix, so Miss Marvel could be that perfect hero for Netflix. Uh, I think Miss Marvel would be a better TV show than movie, I think it should be perfect for a movie also. So, but TV show format, I think, just really fits with her. They could really connect the Inhumans and Captain Marvel stuff without making a giant kind of teen movie for it. Uh, so I'd love to see Miss Marvel as a show. I'd love to see all five of these uh, superheroes and teams as a Netflix show because I think they fit in uh, different ways. But please let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me on my heroes? Um, if 
if you don't or you have more people, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know, Comic Frontline. Don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from uh, my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later.